sorry, but I have no faith in your actual ability to do things. <laughs> like, no, seriously, like, like that, that kind of, we don't really exist, we're just this, that, I, I, no, no. It's just a product of our minds. He says at one point, I don't really believe in free will, like, I just picked up that tea and took a drink of it. Did I pick that tea up because I, I wanted to, or was I thirsty? <laughs> I mean, okay. I hope the hold up, hold up, hold like, up, hold up, hold up, hold like, up. Like, like, no, that's not a mind blowing question. <laughs> that is stupid. Everything. Okay, man. because if you're thirsty, you want it to pick the fucking tea up to drink it. That is the point of thirst. I mean, like, no, die. no, no. I mean, you fuck could, you. You could die. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you, the thirst is what drove you to have the want to pick it up. That is that is what these that's things the point. do. That's, that's what he's saying. Yeah, like like. Did that's I pick like it up because I wanted to? Survival yes, you goes did. against free will. That's not no. It might go against God's plan, but it doesn't fucking <laughs> go against you know free will. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Kid survives cancer. Fuck you, God. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? But you know, I just, I, I hate that kind of fake philosophical awake like wokeness. Uh, I hate the word woke Hashtag too. Hashtag woke. Hashtag woke. I hate that too. But like, it's so like no, you're not you're not intelligent. I mean. You're not. They like, are. They are turning the frogs gay, though. Yeah, you know, that's true. No, I, I can't deny that you one. Can't deny the that. That's one hundred percent true, man. Alex Jones has his there. Oh. Job turning the frogs gay, people. But, yeah, it's devils. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, no. Um, how you guys doing today? You know, just a so, little stupid rant for a minute and a half that has no point. Just like. Ninety I mean, percent of the things we say here. Everything. Nothing. Nothing in reality really has, has, a has a point. It's all. Just thought and floating through space on a teeny rock. Yeah, I hope you die. So anyway, we got news today. <laughs> Can't wait for you to die so I can piss on your grave. <laughs> Go just die. for that comment, like <laughs> horrible, horrible. I'm going if I if I if I outlive you, I'm going to do that now. I'll stop by and fucking drop a fucking sausage egg and cheese McMuffin. There you <laughs> go. Drop me a muffin ha- and, hash and a blunt. Yeah, like instead of instead of flowers on on Luke's grave, we'll put stuff like you know bags of weed and shit. Like yeah. that. Yes, and like little, just like you said, egg McMuffins and shit I like still that. Don't, like I don't, I don't get croissant, which is from BK. Other than to show other people that we really loved the people that died, why do we go out and put flowers on graves? I don't know. They aren't Tradition. fucking seeing the flowers and going, "I loved those roses." Well, they're yeah, up in I mean, heaven, Luke looking dead. down. No, on he, us. no, but in heaven you would not be able to look down because looking at the earth would be depressing. And you fucking can't be sad in heaven if you want to go by that excuse. Peter Steele. So no, they're not. I'm gonna fucking leave a bottle of wine on his grave. There you go. I like seriously I'm gonna come behind you and drink that yeah. wine. <laughs> seriously though, guys, I, 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 I wanna have my remains turned into a tree. Yeah, there you go. Like that that I, I, that, somebody's I, gonna cut that fucker down. You know what? <laughs> Break I, the Bible. Here's the thing, Fuck though. Fuck you and your idea. Here's the thing. Like <laughs> your noble the, the point idea. is, I just want to be useful after I die. Yeah, that's fair. So, like, even if you cut me down and just leave my bot, like, leave the tree there, it still is useful. Because, yeah. you know, something, you know, organisms will live in it and break it down into mulch and then more shit will grow. I mean, and I will live on forever as, like, fungi or some shit. If you, you know? want to get technical with it, the fact that we entomb people in the casket and then put them inside the, uh, what's the fucking giant, con- the, the, not the coffin. Mausoleum. But the, uh, not a mausoleum, but the thing that goes under the ground. I can't remember. There's a name for it. Um, mm. But you, the cof- mm. you know the coffin just doesn't go in the dirt. There's a case around it my my it's phone concrete. loves to fall on the fucking floor it's fails it, but, it's uh, made that, of ceramic it just slips that, like that's like denying the natural order of you know you're yeah. breaking down and we learned the circle of life in lion king people we need to be a part of it seriously that's that's what i want i want or burn your dead because you know they yeah, might come back as zombies who yeah, cares exactly you never <laughs> who know fucking cares yeah, well, you'll be saying that when the zombies come yeah. eat your face. I don't I don't care. Be, he'll still be like, oh, finally, I thank you. It don't fucking matter. <laughs> it's a matter. jugular. I'm going to die and my fucking hey, man, broke just... family is going to do something with my dead body. And... <laughs> I, donate your body to science. No. That way you can be useful after you die. No, I'm not going to let some fucking shit nose. <laughs> He's like some snot nosed student cut me up and then throw me throw me yeah, into it, a fucking bottle. It's the Louis C. K. joke where like you don't want to be the guy that fails. Like you <laughs> yeah. don't want to be like like some my grandma donated her body to science and she like you don't want to be the guy like the body that the, someone fell on, just put an F on a titty and throw it down a chute. And... <laughs> I donated my body to science. You know, like, no, some little fucking 
D like hungover med fucking student. grade med students going to fucking cut you up and mutilate your body. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, fuck. Is this, oh, is this the lung? Is this? <laughs> no, that's the pancreas. You're way no, the you fuck idiot. off. Why, why are you? No, you're, you're not even in the chest cavity. <laughs> Stop playing with the genitalia. You fail. Get out of Boy, my classroom. A bummer of a podcast. This is. Being <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of. kind of upbeat. Kind of no, You're going to fucking die and nothing Talk matters. About death. <laughs> no, you're the one that's going that. I'm, I'm the one trying to be useful after I die. Fuck you, man. No, no, you could go with. That's fair. My favorite I, my thing. My bad. I didn't mean to bring you down, man. <laughs> my favorite thing is the bodies they use for CSI. So where they like plant them out in a giant like forest of dead bodies, yeah, to have crime scene investigation like training. That's yeah. kind of cool. That that's that's morbid as fuck. That is yeah. That, I was gonna say that's that's both super morbid and really fucking cool. Yeah, which are like rare things unless you're really into morbid shit. But yeah. you know, hey, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we want to talk about some news, a little yeah. bit of news topics you know. that are kind of cool, um, like. And this gives me hope as a Switch owner. Uh, in China, on the Shield TV, and I guess the Shield tablet, though that one doesn't seem to be... Everyone says Shield tablet, or TV rather. There's a couple places saying Shield tablets. Like I think you guys might be wrong. But uh, there's going to be some GameCube and Wii games that are ported to this. But only yeah. in China. Which, the Shield t- TV in there doesn't run Android TV. And you have the Google Play services. It runs... Uh, I I don't remember the name of it, but it doesn't matter because it's not. A, I'm it's not, not in here. China, right? But yeah, like you can get games like uh, Twilight Princess and HD, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, shit like that, uh, in 1080p, 60 frames yeah. a second, for ten bucks, which is pretty fucking awesome. Like ten fucking dollars. Like you, I guarantee, if we do get lucky, lucky enough to get that, no way in hell it's ten bucks. Oh no, no, you're that, looking. I mean, considering the pricing scheme on the Virtual Console in the yeah. past, you're like. You're looking at best maybe fifteen to twenty dollars. Yeah. So it's like, but we use probably going to be thirty, thirty five. Right. Well, I don't see them going beyond thirty. Yeah, like I, mean, I really do. I really do. I really do. Like Nintendo's going to Nintendo, but I really do feel like that that'll be their ceiling. Yeah. Like I, thirty. I hope they don't go too high. Unless they completely remaster the game, like they did with Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Like yeah. I, I can't see them actually going. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's a game for sixty dollars that was on the Wii seven years ago or whatever. I was reading something about this that mentioned that the games aren't coming with um, the uh, waggle stick control schemes. So, I mean, um, they might be completely... I don't know if that's just for well, the Wii U games. Well, um, there are no the mention Wii of Wii U games. It's Wii... It's okay, specifically so it's Wii. Wii and GameCube. Okay, so yeah, they're coming remastered without the motion controls. Right, which, which I mean, is fine. St- Cool, yeah. I didn't like most of them anyway. Yeah, but um, I'm just I'm a little. That means they are doing more than just straight porting it. Yeah, they're really they might really be remastering this. Well, stuff. considering that they actually did go through and upgrade the textures and shit from yeah. 480 to 1080, like yeah, there's there's actual work being done. Yeah, that's pretty and, awesome. I actually. mean, for me, like the partnership between Nvidia and and Nintendo was an interesting one. It's not altogether unsurprising though, and and it's actually kind of cool. And when we're talking from a technological standpoint, the Shield TV and the Nintendo Switch are pretty much the same device. You just got the Shield. uh, I mean, they both run the same SoC. They both run the Tegra X1. And I think the only real difference is, and this is kind of obvious, is that, you know, on the Switch, it's downclocked, of course, because Mm -hmm. you got thermal problems, you've got battery. You don't want the shit dying, so... Both the GPU and the CPU down clock, but you also got more RAM. Mm-hmm. And I think, and I, I haven't done a lot of research, but considering if they are as similar as I'm thinking they are, they're probably like the exact same thing. Yeah. Like down to everything. Like they just custom made the board and put the chips in different spots to fit the Switch's form factor versus the Shield TV's form factor, which is just a rectangle sitting on a fucking, you know, thing. So when I sit there and I say that right now I have two Shield TVs sitting out in my front room, I'm not wrong. Like yeah. They're both essentially the same thing. Just one runs Android TV and one runs a fork of uh, BSD or whatever. Well, one of them is Nintendo branded. One of them is Nintendo. I but, wonder almost if they're using China as like a test market for it. Um, I think it's more because <laughs> Nintendo, like from 2000 to 2015, game, game consoles were banned, I guess. Yeah. Um, although some Nintendo consoles did make it through and is a uh, with a partnership with a company called IQ, 
they did like custom Nintendo hardware, official hardware, but they, you know, recustomized it for the Chinese market. Mm-hmm. They did like the Nintendo 64 in 2003 and stuff like that. So, so it's almost like, hey, you missed these games. Yeah. Check them out. That's actually kind of legit. Cool. Yeah. I and mean, like the Shield TV over there is only roughly $25 more than it is here. So mm-hmm. it's not really that bad an investment. You know, 225 10 bucks a game. They come up, they, they pop up like natively. So you don't have to like go through an emulating program or anything. So, I mean, that's actually like for me, that's like, oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah. My only real question is uh, uh, the inner geek, uh, the inner you know computer nerd in me is like, who's doing the porting? Is it Nvidia doing most of the work? Is it Nintendo doing the work? Is it you know a, a, an even collaboration? That's all I would do to want to know. And that's a stupid thing to want to know, but I, I the Nintendo inner... has been killing it lately. Yeah, they kind of have man. Uh, like mm-hmm. almost a monthly first party release schedule, or even if it's not. First party, it's a first party title done by someone else. Yeah, change the game up like Mario Raving Rabbids, um, and uh, the battle, uh, your game, you love my game. Yeah, Fire Emblem Fire Warriors. Emblem. There we go, yeah. Warriors, um, which I've played over ninety fucking hours <laughs> of. <laughs> that game, like they, they are just. This is the kind of console release I always wanted when I was a kid. Yeah, where you would just you're almost inundated with. Oh my god, there's something awesome and new coming out next month, and still announcing stuff. Like they've uh, they've just announced uh, the Mega Man collection, right? Right. Mega yeah. Man X collection, all coming to the Switch, and well, all all all, all platforms. Yeah, but you know, for for me yeah. and you personally, it's like the Switch. Yeah, yeah, that's the big thing. I thought when I first read the news, I misread it and thought the X compilation specifically was Switch mm-hmm. uh, only. Right. But the fact that it's coming out of everything is still awesome because mm-hmm. I love the X games. Oh yeah, Mega Man X. Like that entire series is like. It it really is the the, ev- the evolution of Mega Man for me. Like, you know, Mega, the original Mega Man like they were really hard. They were good games, bright, colorful, and then you go to Mega Man X, and it's even more bright and even more colorful and even more lights. Yeah, and it's one of those games that I think have stood the test of time. Like, I oh, I will yeah. still go back and play the original Mega Man X like constantly. You know, I go out there like, in my Shield TV set up to emulate all those old games. I'll go just fucking play through a game of Mega Man X. That's the only thing I played on my. Uh... Wii U, other than uh, when Smash Brothers came out, right? It was just Mega Man X because X, I think X one and X two maybe had mm-hmm. come out for it, or it was just the first one on the Virtual Console. I don't remember, but uh, that's all I played. Cause... Well, I'm sure more have come out since you've played your Wii U. Maybe. So I mean, it's been. I it's definitely been like wasn't looking at the Virtual Console. Cause... Five or six years I now. I, I don't remember when the Wii was Wii U was was released. Now it doesn't matter because it's a shit system. But they didn't do enough with the Virtual Console though. Uh, it was it was never expanded to the point that it should have been. Yeah, I think I think the 3DS now has more SNES titles than the Wii U. Did. Oh, I guarantee, probably. Yeah, like like all three Mega Man X's are on there. You got a bunch of Super Mario games. You got Super Metroid. Like all the really big titles on the Super mm-hmm. Nintendo are, are on the 3DS now. So, but I don't even play my 3DS anymore. So yeah, because hmm. I got my Switch. <laughs> I hate- got like many, like SNES Nintendo sitting there actually, thinking like, so. oh yeah, no Switch's not going to replace 3DS. Honestly, for... That's what they thought. Yeah, for the most part, for me personally, the Switch has replaced my 3DS as my go-to portable system. The only other thing I'll play that's portable is occasionally my Vita, and that's only because I've got some classic PS1 games I can't play anywhere else. As soon as you get that Pokemon game out on it, that, that's it. Like, yeah, This no, you, is now, you, you might as well say this is replacing you, the 3DS. Granted, they can keep that market open because... They're still going to sell. They're still oh, going to make a ex- lot of money way. for Nintendo. Yeah, um, they're keeping that around. I mean, sort of. Uh, growth-wise, I think the Switch is definitely going to outsell the 3DS. The well, 3DS yeah, but... family, like the entire DS family, from the original DS all the way up to the new 3DS, new 2DS, I think it's only sold like 65 million units. Like, I mean the in- install rate, like how many people have a 3DS. So. Yeah, no, I think no, that's the point I'm getting to. It's like I the Switch is going to eclipse the, it. I thought that... No, the entire DS family. Uh, if you include seller. if you include the Game Boy, like all of it, which well, people not, no, 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 not with Game Boy, but I mean the DS family. I thought that was the highest selling maybe, but console of I, all time. It, it might like, be you're, you know, like you it might beats be right. Out it PS2 might be PS2 and PS1. Well, and I don't know about that now. Um, 155 million units is hard to beat. But I think I, I don't it's, know. I thought it, I thought it was a hell of a lot. Like it's insane though, as far as 3DS a console goes. You know, yeah, you're right. It's 3DS, 3DS family, including the 2DS, new 2DS, and all that. It sold 65 million units. And the Switch, 
and sold like I don't know, like five or six million so far. Oh, it's um, way beyond their expectations. Yeah, like it's and, crazy. And Nintendo's like, oh, by the by the way, we're gonna produce like twenty to thirty million Switches next year. So I mean, if they if if expectations to that point, I could easily see the people having Switches outnumbering people who have 3ds's. Yeah. I mean, it's it's doing extremely well right now. As it's, it's one of those things that's to a point where Sony is now taking notice of it. Like, oh, maybe we should do something here, because it's start it, since the Switch is released. You know, it's outsold the PS4, it's outsold the Xboxes. So I mean, Sony is is finally taking notice of it. Yeah. And then I guess there was an interview with their CEO or whatnot, where hey, yeah, they're doing good, but uh, we're gonna focus on this. But yeah, the, the, apparently the DS consoles are are only one million behind the. I was the just PS2, say it's which 155. sold one hundred fifty five versus yeah. hundred, but that's not including the uh, forty one million from the uh, the fucking DS, DS Lite I. sold like fucking ninety four million. Yeah, the DS Lite was really good. I mean, yeah, it offered a lot of improvement of the original DS. It had it was more efficient. It had mm-hmm. brighter, more colorful screens. I don't it know how smaller, the original more DS was. Sold as well as it did. The original DS was like a unruly brick. Um, I mean, I think the fact that it was basically two consoles in one kind of helped it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was the, like it buying was the it, new Game Boy. So it was yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Like buying it, it replaced your Game Boy Advance yeah. because it was a Game Boy Advance. Oh, so it's way like, to go. so it's like, yeah, like that's a bit of a that, that's kind of nice. Like that's kind of neat, and I think that's why it was it was able to sell so well. Yeah, because you know it offered. Whatever content the DS offered, like like the God, p- Nintendo owns this fucking list, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the, the top game consoles, like so, top selling game consoles, yeah. Game Boy yeah. Advance, uh, the Game Nintendo, Boy Advance, the Nintendo, Nintendo Wii, like the Nintendo Wii was about, what 129. Was a, Nintendo Wii is a monster. Yeah, yeah, it was like 129 million units sold throughout its lifetime. It's like well, Nintendo became that console, especially with the Wii. Of it doesn't matter what you like, you you have a Wii. You went and got a Wii. Yeah, it because, doesn't matter what kind of stuff you played. Yeah. Like, even if you're a dedicated Xbox fan, mm-hmm. you've played Nintendo games. You Your know grandma has a Wii. Right. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, I saw it down at the old folks' home, a community right, center. Right. Yeah, can, something, you know. Like, you, have a, you, you might even have That's a, literally what my grandmother did. You might have a Game Boy Advance somewhere. You know, yeah. you might. Like, like, it doesn't matter if what what you are. You know, there are the diehard Nintendo fans who think Nintendo can do no wrong, and I completely yeah. disagree with them. But it's like, yeah, they're oh, they're they do a lot wrong. They do yeah. a lot wrong. They're oh my succeeding God. right now, but they're still doing a lot wrong. I mean, yeah, they it's still Nintendo than Nintendo. Things, Nintendo. They still. still have no voice communication that's worth a damn on the uh, Switch. You mean you don't want to connect your cell phone uh, to a big, stupid, ugly dongle? They, honestly, they've <laughs> kind of seemed like they've brushed that under the rug. Like I don't I have never seen one of those being sold. Like at, at least since they launched, <laughs> you just aren't allowed God to set damn, your phone you on that phone, Yeah, no, yeah, it's like. I can't. Okay, guys, I I can't help it. It's uh, it's slippery. It's slippery. It, like the back <laughs> is all ceramic. It's not glass. It's fucking ceramic. So it's not the grippiest material. Like it falls off my fucking futons all the time. Like I'll just like, set it down, <laughs> and like thirty seconds later, it's like this doom doom. He- heavy I was duty just thunk. fucking sitting here just now, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I, and this, I slightly jumped a little bit. The, the thing fucker is, hit the ground so the hard. The thing is fucking tough as nails, though. Like I, there's no it better fucking me. There's no like, like I've dropped it like feet, like not just like a foot or two. Why? Like I've dropped it feet, and like it's got titanium sides here. So this metal frame you see is titanium. It's just it it's just whatever. Like it doesn't fucking care. Me. Like a little bit overkill. <laughs> well, like okay, size every size. every every phone's made out of metal. Or plastic, right? Yeah. So the company that made this phone decided, you know, we're going to go a different route. We're going to make it out of premium material, so we're going to make it out of ceramic and titanium. Military grade ceramics. No, not military. Titanium. Grade. No, they're, they're not. They're not shooting the military angle. They're shooting. Stop the, a bullet. They're shooting the premium angle. That's a really that, yeah, small remember, bullets. Remember that was the selling point for the original iPhone. Like the screen is the same material used on jet airplane windshields. <laughs> <laughs> yes, glass. That's that's yeah, what right. they use. <laughs> Yeah, it, they don't use anything super special. It, it can't even really stop a bullet, to be honest with you. But yeah, small bullet. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it. it uh, my bad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, it's one of those things I've accidentally <laughs> I need bought. Need to yell at you until you set it on the table from now on. 
Yeah, then it'll vibrate and it'll <laughs> all three of our fucking microphones will pick it up. I'm like, what the hell is that? Like, oh, that's a good point. I probably should put my phone. But uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, what were we talking about? Switch and how awesome it is. Game consoles. We were Game yeah. Consoles. The the switch is is nice. Uh, I mean, they're getting Bayonetta three exclusive but soon too. I one Another thing before we that, before we move that, yeah. on, yeah. I, I do back to the communications thing. Yeah. Same fucking SOC as the Tiger X one. Yeah. Or uh, it, the Tiger X one's fucking Shield TV can do forty K video forty K four K sorry at sixty frames a second video. You mean to tell me you motherfuckers can't do Bluetooth audio? Yeah. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Like, the most basic shit, like, 10-year-old smartphone can do Bluetooth yeah. audio. And we, knows it uses, we know it uses Bluetooth. That's how so, the fucking controllers work. So you should be able to do fucking audio. Fuck you guys. Anyway, Bayonetta 3. Yeah, that's another one that's coming out, which I liked. I, I haven't beaten a Bayonetta game yet, but I've owned both of them and enjoy them. Uh, it's just a game where I just haven't sat down and actually completed it. I've never played Bayonetta. They're great hack and slash games. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've watched him, and I'm like, yeah, whoa. <laughs> One of his hands was busy. I mean, well, I'm not a, hen- <laughs> I'm not a hentai kind of guy. <laughs> you don't need to be a hentai kind of guy. <laughs> do yeah, you like, like anime? Just, yes, I do. Make her it really t- skinny <laughs> and make her tits really fucking huge. Yeah, that, that's that's that pretty. Necessarily no, no, she's do got hips, <laughs> and Bayonetta's got hips. She so. does have hips. Yeah, it's like that, but. Uh, for some reason, every time someone mentions every time someone ben mentions Bayonetta, I I I'm always reminded of that that gif of fucking Pikachu, uh, stretched out and doing the Bayonetta pose. Oh yeah, where they fucking the the like the character models got switched or something. Yeah yeah, we're, Ugh. It, it's it's so weird and creepy. It's creepy. And it, there's a Reddit user who always posts that gif link <laughs> in his comments. Like he'll just hide it in between like the S or something. So I, and. It's not difficult to notice that it's there, but well, you're gonna click the link. You're gonna click the link because you're a fucking link. you're a fucking idiot. So you're gonna click the link, and it's that every time. Um, so I tagged him because you know I have Reddit enhancement suite, yeah. the, the extension of Chrome. I tagged him as post weird Pikachu porn or whatever. <laughs> Because every single fucking comment, like, it'll be relevant to the topic, but somewhere in the comment, one of the letters will be that link. <laughs> fucking Reddit. Like, oh, thanks, guys. But, uh, yeah, Bayonetta 3 is going to be exclusive to the Switch. Yep. Which, uh, with the way, uh, I can't remember the name of the gaming company, whatever, they the way they've gone, that's not too surprising. Right. That, uh, I mean, Bayonetta 2 was exclusive to the Wii U. Uh, didn't uh, it later come to different systems? Or? I don't think it's I know, even on PC yet. Yeah, yeah, no, it's on PC. Um, uh, not, not the second one. The first one is. Uh, if the second one is, I need I'm to go buy. I'm pretty sure the second one is. I, I I think I remember getting a Steam advertisement for it. Maybe because you know every time Steam restarts, which for me is very rare because I never <laughs> turn my to PC off. The they yeah, they got these things out. Hey, look, like. new things are released. So I <laughs> we're not going to make a game anytime soon. So I, here, buy someone else's, and we'll make money off of I, them. Now I could be wrong, but I um I mean I got an honorable mention. I saw a trailer for a game called um, <clears throat> uh, Witchfire. And it's from the creator. It's in, in the trailer, the trailer is actually pretty cool. It's, it pulls a nice little bait and switch on you. Like the trailer, if you played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, it's like a walking simulator just with pretty yeah. scenery. And it's from the from the creators of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And it's this beautiful, serene-looking looking game. Mm-hmm. And it says, but also from the creators of Painkiller and Bulletstorm. And it immediately shoots into this super intense shooter Okay, thing. So... And the trailer was really fucking sweet. I have to check that I out. I have to check that out. It looks awesome. Yeah. It's gorgeous. How we know it's not going to look like that in the final game, but but okay. hey, you know what? You I am an interested. interesting trailer, you know. All right, I am wrong. Bayonetta it is 2 Bayonetta is not on yet. Steam, yeah. The uh the, the It's not on PC yet, I should say. Yeah, Bayonetta 2 is still exclusive to the uh to the uh Wii U. Which apparently the reason for that is uh, is because Nintendo paid for some of the development, yeah. so um uh, that company, though, they started, obviously, they put Bayonetta, they put uh, uh, another uh, really weird action game. Platinum Games. Platinum Games, yeah. I like that gaming company. They're a pretty cool Japanese developer. Uh, so I'm totally down for Bayonetta 3. The sense of humor in their games is really good. Yeah, I, I've never, like, I, I don't... I haven't I played don't, any of them. Yeah, I was, I, that's, that's yeah. yeah, I don't think I've played a Platinum Games Bayonetta game. comes off as this very obvious, like, just sexual bait. 
type of game. Right. But when you play it, it's actually really intelligent, they've really some, funny, funny game. They've made some shitty games, that studio. They have made some not great games, really too. Really bad but games. <laughs> I, 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 I can't think of any of the games they've made because I've never played. Did they, they, they make the Teenage Vanquished Mutant Ninja Turtles the like Out of the Shadows or some shit in the fucking the Transformers games, I believe, was them. On the Dude, uh, I, if I you're don't talking know about that, War for but... Cybertron, that was... Um, <clears throat> Uh, that wasn't them, no. Yeah, that I'm that fuzzy, was somebody but... else. I like that company too, except for their recent games yeah. haven't been so great. Um, I take the, everything I just said with a the two Transformers salt. games were good though. Did you play War for Cybertron? That was High uh, Moon Studios. High Moon. That's no. hey, they made Deadpool. No. I like See, that. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I sent a detector. Turn your goddamn phone on silent. Yeah, well, I sent a link buzz. to the Witchfire chat to these guys. Okay. Just because we wanted to let everyone know exactly what we're <laughs> getting. Xbox. Xbox. Yeah. Uh, that kind of reminds me. Is, have you guys seen the trailer? I can't remember. It's just coming off the top of my head. That really fucking weird uh, shooter that's coming out where your guns are alive and everything. You're inside like a living ship. It's just. I so watched fucking... fucking PewDiePie play it. Oh, is it out? Yeah. No. Oh, it, well, the the beta. Oh, okay. Is and he played it and it's. Fucking gross. It's gross and creepy I as fuck. And I like, have no you're idea fucking, what you're talking about. And I'm really fucking, glad I don't. You have your gun and like you, it's kind of like looks like this weird dog's mouth, fucking like like old fashioned pistol. Yeah. And uh, you like sh- you like shove this fucking thing into its mouth in this gross way, and it's got like six shots on it. And each time you fire, it's like a got this little yellow pimple that bursts on it, and then they're in a row, and you just fucking reverse pop pimples to fill in your ammo. It's fucking disgusting. That sounds absolutely terrible. It looks like it looks like HR Giger made a video game. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Definitely, they're one hundred percent ripping off HR Giger's art style. But uh, I'm okay with it. Sin, is it Sin? I don't know what it's called. I just saw the. I, I remember watching my the gameplay trailer it. and was like, uh, uh, "I don't." I'm good. Ugh. I mean, just based on your description, I'm. Uh, that's a game I'm going to skip. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, that does not. That does not sound acceptable to me. I mean, it looks yeah. interesting. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's fine. Man, it ain't sitting. I don't know what the fuck it is. Anyway, yeah. looks, terrible. Uh, terrible. Really terrible. like a weird, weird shooter. Yeah. No, I'm I'm good. Like that does not sound appealing to me. I'll be honest with you. Um, like I love shooters. Like don't get me wrong. You know I'm not great at them, but I'll fucking play them. But that does not sound that does not sound okay <laughs> to me. I can't lie. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I did you yeah. play? Uh, did you play the first Prey? No. Oh yeah. No, I did. That's one of my favorite games ever. That man. had some interesting, uh, like right. some of the living sort of uh, environments and weapons and stuff. That was kind of cool. Right. Uh, no, I know. I never played the first Prey. Yeah. So I mean, you could you could go back and play that now. It's really dated, but it had like some really great. It's an ideas Unreal Tournament inspired, or like a. Uh, it's just like Doom, but Doom. Yeah, uh, you play as a, a Native American character. Oh, so it's a ripoff of Torok. Sort of, yeah. Actually, <laughs> honestly, it, it could have been cool. a success for Tur- a successor to Turok, just minus dinosaurs, right? Because you fought aliens. I mean, next evolution of Turok. Because yeah. I mean, in in. Uh, I believe it was Turok three. You fought oh fucking Turok two. You fought aliens. Well, yeah, but this is just, fucking the first Turok. No you fought aliens. It was fine. But like there are no dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> it's different because no dinosaurs. Child, shut the fuck up, Luke. <laughs> uh, I am looking forward to a little indie game. Another little indie game, uh, kind of along the same lines as whatever that game we just talked about yeah. is called. The gross one. It's called Agony. And you play as like just this random like lost soul in, in hell. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks really fucking cool. That's all I know. Like I've seen like a five minute game Trailer snippet. And nothing happens, scary. but it like, looks fucking awesome. I love like Dante's Inferno and yeah. and uh, the Divine Comedy and stuff like that. So it's it, right up my it alley. Kinda but looks it looks like it's cool. going to be one of those more hide and run it, type games. I thought it'd be like kind of like a walking simulator kind of deal, <laughs> but but no, there there I guess there is some combat in it, but, oh, okay. uh, but uh, mm, it has something I pretty think. awesome. Waiting on that to come out. Yeah. I can't I can't play the uh like Alien Isolation was the closest one to a game that I could I, sit down and see, play. See, I bought that because I I the original Alien. Alien's one of my favorite movies of all time. Mm-hmm. So, I wanted to walk around 
and look at everything and experience everything and like ooh ah at the ship and <laughs> but instead there's a giant instead bug I'm I'm getting up. fucked in the ass by this alien for fucking ten hours and cock blocked <laughs> every time I stop to look at a fucking little detail it's like and the fuck here comes the fucking alien out of nowhere just fucking murders me <laughs> god damn it this fucking point like, of this fuck game fuck off when I got the flamethrower I was so happy I felt like come on you motherfucker <laughs> I was just fucking mad you set your face on fire I'll fuck you up you goddamn alien. Uh, yeah. Speaking of indie Pretty games, yeah. uh, one game I can't wait for. I, I I'm waiting for um, Hollow Knight on Switch. Yeah, like, that's the other game I remember. You like, talking about. Hollow Knight's such a great fucking game. Like I've completely stopped playing it on my PC when I heard it was coming to Switch. I'm like, no, I don't want to do any more. I want to <laughs> get it on fucking Switch. Switch has become my my go to for indies. Oh yeah, <laughs> because like. You know, there are so many good indie titles like Hollow Knight that it's I can play the on the new, go. It's the new market because Nintendo's embracing indie devs and Steam is a giant file of clusterfuck. Shit. Yeah. It's just a pi- yeah, it's just it's just it it's a clusterfucked pile of clusterfucks. Yeah. Is, is what it's become. It's like there there there's more shoveled shitware on that fucking platform than every other platform that has ever existed combined. Yeah. I'm it's like, oh, God. But, yeah, as, as the longer I go with my Switch, the more I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get that game on Switch instead of PC. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, Icy, I think, is supposed to come to Switch. And that looks like a really cool little platformer. And I was going to buy it on Steam. And I'm like, no, I'll, I'll hold off because I heard yeah. it's supposed to come to Switch. I'm like, I'll buy it on Switch instead. You got that one. You guys see uh, Jim Sterling's review of, uh, of a game called Jidge? No. Oh, it was, last Jidge. thing I watched from him is his fuck Skyrim video. It was a <laughs> um, it, it's a twin stick shooter top down that's uh it, it, it's like Judge Dredd themed. Okay. But it's huh. really really good. Like it, lo- it looks really cool. Yeah, it's like 15 bucks on the Switch, 15 bucks on Steam. He reviewed Steam copy, of course, because yeah. it wasn't on Switch then. And I saw it was coming to Switch. I'm like, you know, I'm going to buy that cuz Jim 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 had fun with it. Like it, and it looked like it was a lot I of fun. I love twin stick shooters. They're great waste of time. Oh yeah, like they they're one of those things that are great to sit down and burn like 8 10 minutes while you're taking a shit or something, you know. It's perfect for that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh other actually big, you know, Triple A, whatever developer news. Triple A, Triple A gaming, Far Cry Five, and uh, some other game from them that I don't give a shit about called Crew Two. Man, they got delayed again. Oh, well, kind of sucks because I actually won Far Cry Five. I, I like mean, you know series. what though? Well, uh, Ubisoft's getting a whole lot of brownie points. I saw online because we're gonna we're gonna delay games until they're done. Everybody, which is awesome. We vow to do that. Don't get which me is, wrong. Which is great. But if oh, you're yeah, going no. to make something, whether it be a game or a movie, if it's not done. Delay it. Yeah, Seriously, don't yeah. Like, don't release game. it because you want a bonus. You don't like <laughs> delay the game, finish it, delay the movie, finish it. Get it fucking right. Yes. Like so you're not trying to patch it or fill Warner content. Brothers, scumbag. Yeah. You too, EA. You fucks. Yep. EA can EA can't be safe. Successfully EA, murdered. EA the needs to eat a buffet of dicks. EA has swallowed up some of the best game developers and some of the best game series you could possibly ask for, and they have fucked every single last one of them. Yeah, how do you fuck? How Dead do you Space. fuck up Star Wars? You See, fuck, up, you Star fuck up Star how Wars. How do you fuck Star Wars up? Like, dude, no, it's impossible. It's serious. Like, how? I, I, EA, you are fucking mind boggling stu- mind bogglingly stu- how did how? Like why would you actually I take that back? How do you to... fuck up Star Wars when George Lucas isn't involved? Why would you not want to swallow up those game <laughs> yeah, developers yeah, and those awesome IPs and nurture those IPs and build those IPs like because, no, Ron, we're gonna run them into the fucking ground. Because Ron, the last game that was in that IP didn't sell at least five million copies. Uh, well t- well two I of mean, the two of those game series, Mass Effect the Ma- first Mass Effect, uh, Mass Effect Two, was released under the EA umbrella. Yeah, and Dead Space Two was released under the EA umbrella, and uh, the third one. And e- with each passing game, yeah, they got progressively more multiplayer centric, right. microtransaction centric, more yep. action centric. Yep, yep, yep. By the time you get to the third game, you've alienated. The people that 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 love the first game, right? Yeah. So in yeah. the series, you so kill, much, yeah, to you, the point where you're not going to sell these copies. You're you're not going to make you, the numbers that you, you, you said, yeah, want to make. You sit there, you come up with these games, and you create them, 
and you add these things into them that kill the spirit of the game. Goodwill and you're killing your spirit of the game. You're killing off the people who loved the games originally. So you're killing your own audience off. Well, EA doesn't want to make good games. They want to buy those ty- the no, name. No, 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 no. They well, want to buy wanna, that company. No, 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 no. Now they want to try no, 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 to turn no, no, them into cash machines. But forever. that's what they want to yeah. do. They want to make money. Especially Which, now. Okay, that's fine. I'm. Totally on board with you making money. You're a company. That's what you're in the business to do. You're in the business to make money. But, dude, take a page. Look at CD Projekt Red. Look at how much fucking money you they've can make made. Money. Look at n- – don't even have look to look at, at another AAA publisher. Grand Theft look Auto at the most it, played right? games right now. Yeah. PUBG. You've got Minecraft – like even back Stardew in the day. Valley, Stardew Valley. Um, One, of, it it sold all these. It sold so many fucking copies on Switch. It insane. sold. It's if, outsold. If you want a cash machine, a game to be a cash machine, look at Rockstar. Look what they did with GTA Five. They released the main game. Everybody got their got their their Grand Theft yeah. Auto game. Then like a year and a half. How long afterwards did they release online? Then they released uh, GTA Online. Uh, well, like Online six came later? out on and the console. They have every fucking microtransaction imaginable. But you you don't have to have those. But no. They have it all there. It's it's the game is is perfectly balanced. It's it's fun. Yeah. But they have shark cards also. Yep. Fake money real for real money. Yeah. If you you can do it right, but their EA marketing is just, the way they market it they is don't fucking so get it at all. Perfect. On top of, they don't hurt the cash inflow if you don't want to buy that. Yeah, it's not like EA when they made Battlefront Two, uh, the like they made it hard to progress. Yeah, they made it take longer to progress because they, they want you to buy it. Yeah, they they basically Grand Theft Auto it. didn't do that. You can yeah. still play those heists and make big money. Yep, you don't need to spend Rockstar money on the cash. That if you do it right once, you don't have to keep whoring out no. these games. Yep, At Rockstar had released a new game every single year. Until Every GTA year, 5. Until GTA 5. Yeah, until GTA, GTA 5. GTA 5 came out. They don't need to now. Because I mean, they, they have GTA Online. It is just printing money. It's, it's, it's one of those things. It, you do where, it right where, once where, and then you're done. When it comes to that series, GTA 5 is the pinnacle of that series. Yeah. Like, it is the perfect game in that series. Like, it's, what is it, like the fourth best selling game of all time? Yeah. 80 fucking million it copies have been sold of that game. Either. Like and you know, like you said, the online component—it's fun. It's stupid. You don't need it though. It's not something that's part of the main game. It's my favorite the, game to play with any of my friends. The main online. game is all there. You you give sixty dollars, you get the whole fucking game. Like who would have fucking thought that you, you could still do that? Yeah, and not just you know the whole game. The single player ca- gameplay in that is massive. Oh yeah, there's a whole oh, yeah. shitload to do. And when they came out with the online. They made a promise. We're going to come out with more heists. Are you going to charge DLC prices for them? Fuck no. No. We're going to give you these heists, and we're going to continue to expand the online. And we have these shark cards if they you want to buy them. They took their time. Like, and they did. It took a Slow dripping these time. things out, but they... But there's a brand they, new one that's uh, took just the time come they out. Needed some to take. futuristic shit, or, or is about to come out, they just announced. I like, don't know. Fucking I'm, hover I'm bikes and shit. It, man. Yeah, I, I think I, that's... I, I haven't played it, while. but it just looks fucking cool. <laughs> Yeah, I know last time I played it, I got fucking hunted down. Some douchebag was on a fucking jet-propelled motorcycle, and <laughs> just you just run into these players where they just have nothing better to do. <laughs> they just live. They're just playing the game to bother you. Yeah. They're, they're playing the game. I mean, That's their life. Buy... You have to break down and turn the game on passive. Like, fuck off, man. You can buy stuff in that game that has no real bearing to the game itself. Yep. Like, it doesn't do anything. You just you buy a yacht to have a yacht. Oh, well, I got the yacht. I need a helicopter to put on my helipad on the yacht, so you buy the helicopter. Oh, I need my office building to be pimped out, so I bought and, – and it's all in-game cash. You're not spending real money unless you aren't, aren't – you know, you decide not to earn it. You decide to buy it. Mm-hmm. It's just – it's so well done that it's like I don't like microtransactions, but if you're going to do them, you're doing them right. Yeah, I like that. GTA Five is one of those games that I point to when it comes to, like, honestly, the perfect game. Because I mean, inside that game, there's so, like you said, there's so much to do. Like yeah. they built a better golf game than any <laughs> dedicated golf game. <laughs> they they did. built a better tennis, tennis game, game yeah. than any dedicated tennis game. Yeah. You know, it's like, what, what the fuck did you guys like? What are you guys doing here? Rockstar released a fucking table tennis game as yeah, a beta did. for their game engine. 
pre GTA. Oh I loved. I loved that that came out of fucking nowhere. It's just Rockstar presents table tennis. What? Like, Are you? What? what? Out, What's going on here? I'll play oh, it. oh, I get it. It's a joke. We're gonna be able to beat the shit out of people hookers with the paddles, right? No, it's just fucking table tennis. Yeah, just, you know, and it was pong. amazing. Do, 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 it's do. ping pong. Yeah, no, like like the the care that went into GTA Five. It's like, it's like it's just fucking mind blowing, man. They 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 That's built Rockstar. they built great driving physics. Mm-hmm. They've got great flying physics. You know, jetpacks are. About as realistic as we can expect them to be, you know the fucking you know, all the helicopters, all the all the things that can fly react as they would. It's it's just it's well, amazing. they're easier than they would be. Well, yeah, well, they're much course, easier than a course, real flight sim. But of they, course, they had to dumb that shit gameplay, down. Yeah, but what, what I'm saying is the, the physics are correct, sort of. I mean, so do it right once. It's fun to play. Do it That's right the, the first part. time. Right. Fucking fuck EA, man. It's it's kind of like. Uh, Ghost Recon Advanced, or not Advanced Warfire, whatever the the one that's online. Wildlands? Wildlands, yeah. Um, I think when I that have game that game. Out. I think I got that game free <laughs> with something. It's not a bad game. I've it's never, kind of fun. Or am I thinking of another? I'm think, I might be thinking, might of, be thinking of another uh, one. The other Tom Clancy games. Yeah. One of when, the other ones. When that game first came out, uh, the helicopters, you could fly them, and some of them would have <laughs> guns on them that you could shoot. You could not aim the front of the helicopter because they made the controls much more realistic to how you would fly a helicopter. So it was nigh impossible to actually shoot anything with the helicopters. For like, I don't know, four or five months, they then came out with a patch, which thankfully I had gotten the game like two weeks before this patch came out. So suddenly it went from, well, flying helicopters is kind of a fucking waste because I can't hit anything anyway, to, oh shit, finally you fixed the goddamn helicopters. I mean, in real life, you can... A helicopter can totally hover and and rotate. And yeah, yeah, shit, but you so couldn't I mean. you couldn't like uh, the right stick didn't do what most games do with a helicopter and have it like aim, have it move the uh, helicopter up and down, left uh, and right. 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 So it was it it just it didn't work very well. The only way you could get it to shoot something is if I hovered and then just shot up and down. <laughs> so I would maybe hit one person so and you, then I'd move. The yeah, helicopter. like like like. It, it, real life helicopters can just fucking sit in yeah. one spot and rotate. Like, yeah, I don't but you know. couldn't you couldn't actually rotate. It yeah, was so weird. Like, so the I controls mean, were like, uh, I, I'm glad you know you that, got realism, but come that, on, that's not realism. That's the point that of getting it. It wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was. They were going really for, floaty too. Yeah, it was. I not, mean, you're it floating. That's kind of how it works. But I need to fucking see, man. Come yeah, on, right, I don't want right. to get fucking seasick here. <laughs> All right, what's next on our agenda here? What have we not talked about yet? Cause um, I, I we've have been no doing idea. a lot of games, so a uh, little bit of uh, movie announcements. Uh, they just I, uh, they just showed Phoenix the, right. for the Dark Phoenix saga recently. They've got some images out. I had no that idea. That fire looks really cool. I didn't watch <laughs> it. I'm curious to see how that all works out, like movies that are like post-Marvel or post-Disney deal. I'm wondering, too. I think... Honestly, like Deadpool I really. Deadpool two is going to get released. Like, would this yeah. movie get released? Let's yeah, let's and just skip to that because that's shit. more interesting. They, great, Dark Phoenix looks cool, and they're spending lots of money on visual effects of fire. Yeah, my bad. Mar- oh no, you're good. I didn't. <laughs> it's not that. Infor- I was just going to burn I'm through like, that and then go so right. So yeah, to, that's pretty cool. On to yeah. this one. <laughs> yeah. Well, this story is more important anyway, and we got to talk about it before we're done. Yeah. Uh, Disney. Also, I have no idea about the. I I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, they so I released don't care. an image, Whatever. and <laughs> the director talked about the fact that they're taking oh, all their time and spending money on making sure the fire looks really good. I, I don't the care. Make the story good. Exactly. <laughs> Make this get the story right. The fire can be paper. I don't give a shit. It can be paper yeah, mache fire. I want a good X Men movie. Classic, yes. So, classic Fox. Classic Fox. The paper. The fire can be paper fucking mache. Make the story good. <laughs> Make the movie good. Give us good action. And give us good dialogue. <laughs> don't make your main villain look like a fucking Power Rangers villain. <laughs> Honestly, though, don't do paper mache fire, no. but do you know. do better. But so I have a news. The Dis- yes, the Disney <laughs> uh, Fox, damn, dude, Disney buying Fox Entertainment, maybe even the you know broadcasting Fox like. That basically, side of it too. Ba- basically, they're buying a very huge chunk of Fox. Yeah. They're buying the movie studios and uh, the TV studios, mm-hmm. things like that. Uh, their game, I think their video game. Uh, Fox does don't... video games? Yeah. Well, they must do mobile. I guess they uh, well, do yeah, a lot of mobile. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, like they partnered with the one company to bring the Simpsons games and oh, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they, they have a little bit of a game studio, I think. But it's yeah, just like... two guys throwing fucking bouncy ball against the wall. 
<laughs> well, yeah, what are we going to do? Oh, another Simpsons mobile game. All right. Tap oh, out. Family Guy mobile game. We'll People do... are not spending as much money on our bullshit currency so they can pay to wait. But, uh, yeah, like, like they're supposed to be the big – the only thing that basically Fox – they're not getting – Getting a fox is like the sports network and the, the news, because no one, no one wants Fox News. I mean, I I've lived with a few fucking crazies that watch that shit religiously. Okay, we we need to we we're, we're straying into dangerous. That's territory. why I'm just saying no one wants Fox News. Anyway, continuing on, yeah, they're going to get all of the good things. All the good things of Fox. The yeah. biggest thing, of course, are, are the distribution rights yes. for for a couple of the movies. Which I I guess I learned recently that uh, when it comes to, I think it was Fantastic Four. Fox doesn't own the rights to Fantastic Four. It's a German company that owns the rights to Fantastic Four, and they have a partnership with Fox for distribution. Okay, so. If we want to blame fantastic, bad Fantastic Four movies on anybody, it's on Germany. I think, but they're still made by Fox. Like, Thanks, Germany, you fuck nuggets. <laughs> but once again, you you censor all the good shit over there. You, you you fuck you. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they don't actually make the movies. No, no, it's, it's probably just, like a teeny little well, company. Like, that's like, like I said, the like money. they own the rights to to the movies, and they have the deal with Fox to make yeah. them yeah. and distribute them. So. Okay. Yeah, like that's the way it is. So it's not. So yeah, we blame it's still Fox. Fox's fault. Yeah, they, but, their but at the same is time, still making the movie. at the same time though, it's like you guys could make better choices over there. What the fuck are you doing? It's like it's it goes back to weird German movies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, German. We're not going to go into that, but Germans German dungeon porn. Come on. <laughs> do Uber sex. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like like I I learned that I don't I I don't know the validity of it. I never I didn't actually look into it. I'll be honest with you, I don't fucking care. But I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm still blaming Fox. Oh yeah, no Fox but made Fox gave a shitty Fantastic Four movies. Still, this like, would mean that and they were Marvel about gets... to do the worst one so far. Oh like, my god! Oh, like, let's let's the make kids. them all kids and. <sighs> Oh no! Uh, thank uh, thank God! Uh, God, I hope this goes through because yeah, in yeah, Phase yeah. Four, I want Fantastic Four done right, and I want yeah. my fucking Silver Surfer. I want Silver Surfer, and I want Galactus. You can't pick a better villain Ugh. for Phase Four than Galactus. Like so, oh man! I can't yeah, wait. no, I can't fucking. You did wait. Thanos. Now do Galactus. A nice little fucking teaser would just be the Silver Surfer flying by at the end of the fucking Ooh, just Infinity like a, War, just too. like a quick Silver Streak or something. Don't even see the actual surfer. Just see a streak. Boom! Here comes and then a Green Lantern. Ring here fly. comes the Herald of. <laughs> <laughs> and Ron comes in his pants. I would literally be like, "What? What? 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 Oh, what?" Ron's in the background, like, "Yes, thank you." <laughs> but he says it in that weak, uh, pathetic a, voice. And anybody got a gun? Can. It's not going to get any better than this. <laughs> Ron's like, "My life is going downhill." I mean, you got to see the it's movie all first. From here, man. Yeah, uh, no, you got. He just like, needs true. the tease. At Ron least... just needs the tease to get off. <laughs> That's all he needs. He just needs that hint, that little <laughs> tiny possibility yeah. that it's a thing, you know. Oh, oh man, no, I, I'm never. Just... I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this. I, I'm like you were saying. I'm a little nervous about movies like Deadpool two, like uh, the fact that Logan was so awesome, and I want to see more movies like that. So I'm kind of hoping Disney. Keeps I mean, Fox all self-contained, but still uses that stuff. If I were Marvel, if I were Disney, I would have zero faith in anything involving the X-Men franchise. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't. If I'm Disney, sure, like uh, that movie. You're, you, I respect that you guys were going to make a Dark Phoenix movie. You're not anymore. <laughs> not I mean, anymore. yeah, no. Uh, if now, I Deadpool, I would leave Deadpool alone. Yeah, leave that. They got a good thing in Money, Deadpool. Money talks, and, and I hopefully mean, Disney doesn't get afraid of being associated talk. with that kind Money of Money ain't hard talking art. so well for the X Men franchise lately. No, because like, no, it's not talking. I mean, like I said before, I've made this point. Disney has R rated movies attached yes, to its name, so true. it's so I, so I I, I I have a hands off. I I I have a good um I, I kind of have a good feeling that if this deal does go through, Deadpool two will be untouched. Yeah. Because I mean, it's already to a point where it's in. It well, isn't it in like post production now? They're basically oh, yeah. it's Deadpool probably practically done. done. Like yeah, it's pretty but... much yeah, it's pretty much done at this point. So I don't see Disney fucking with that. Yeah, especially it, even if it's just half as successful as the last movie. Like that's still mind blowing, and be it's still like... one of the top fifty R rated movies ever. Yeah. So I mean, it, even if it's just half as successful, it's fine. That's still three hundred and 
fucking what forty billion dollars you're gonna make or what or three hundred and sixty billion dollars you're gonna make. So fine. Yeah. Leave it. Just don't don't fuck with it. Anything X Men though, on the other hand, get out of here. Yeah, yeah no. get out of here. That yeah, is like, the most cluster fucked, ruined. It's you reboot I, it. Shittily you done exactly. franchise. Exactly. Just started start, it, start Which over. Which is completely. what they're kind of in the middle of doing. But you do, you send Kevin Feige comes in and pretty much he'll probably just clean house. Yeah, no, I I would. I mean, I let what's her face play Jean Grey if she wants, but I think you keep as the like kid a actors consolation from, uh, prize but... first uh, first class first class. Yeah, yeah, I think you keep the kid actors because that's an easy. You really, you you're well, you're done with the casting. It's part a slippery. Of it. sl- it's you can't have them all though. You can't have three pro- Professor Xavier's. No, no, no. Like you that. ignore. That, that's why you you're going to lose. You do a complete reboot. Yeah, and you you integrate it into the current Marvel. I don't. Even oh, know you're saying you keep that. the the actors. Keep the actors. Yeah, yeah. Keep some of the child actors from first class and just start the fucking next men series all over again with them um but at the same time somehow you you like that video we were watching from collider that's why you bring that dump truck full of money yep you back, back it right that's up that's the into only Hugh thing Jackman's. involving those other x-men movies yeah. i would do you get you get hugh jackman and wolverine and the the second infinity war yep. movie then you reboot that shit you you get him in there before do it. you do that because that needs to happen. Hugh Jackman, that Wolverine needs to be in these Marvel movies. Yeah, be so he's awesome. been destined to play Wolverine. They talked in the about Avengers. it hypothetically a few years ago, and it's just so. It's I mean, such a he bummer said when they were you know, talking it could about never happen. Yeah, no. When he's talking about you know like the Deadpool thing, Deadpool comes out and well, he's only going to do one more Logan movie, and everyone wants him to be in Deadpool. He's like, well, like, I don't listen, know. Buddy. I don't know. Listen, I, if I, you know, oh, maybe if the Avengers, if I can be with the Avengers, I'll play Wolverine again. Like, here's a hundred million dollars. Get your yeah. ass back in shape and play Wolverine one more time. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> I, you know what? Disney money. Disney. Get money. him in the movie. I don't care. Yeah, but Disney's you paying do. sixty billion for Fox. I mean, that's... they'll they'll make it back. Yeah. They're gonna but, burn um, hundred thirty million for. Yeah, but <laughs> um, yeah, I I, I kind of. That 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 just takes me back to the whole Deadpool and and Wolverine together in like and yeah. in like an Avengers type movie. Just throw him in there for some reason, and then you know the I've, one fuck that you're allowed in a PG thirteen movie, give it to Logan and <laughs> cut Deadpool off. Like I want to see that. Like, yeah. I, one of my favorite lines ever is just a a, a, a Wolverine. <laughs> Fuck you, line like that fucking line in first class, oh, in first when, class he, when, when they when try they to recruit yes. him. He's like, like fuck he's off. He's like, go fuck yourself. Oh, that it, scene yeah. <laughs> was awesome. That, and they're that's... like, well, and they immediately turn back around and leave the bar. <laughs> Never and mind. Was in. <laughs> it, it, and uh, so many good jokes can be made with Deadpool too. Like, I was just like, thinking... like the McAvoy, the McAvoy or uh... McAvoy or Stewart. <laughs> yeah, McAvoy or Stewart joke when they say, "Where's Professor X?" It's like. <laughs> So good. Yeah, like I love, I love the fourth wall breaking that Deadpool I does. I it's really so hope amazing. This, I really hope he like talks about having dreams about being chased by a giant mouse, or like he has like a, a poster that's like kind of vaguely looks like a shadow of Mickey Mouse. He's like b- bowing down to like, well, do you need my master? <laughs> yeah. Like something they could throw that shit in there. Like even fucking uh, it, during reshoots or something. Yeah, Just reshoot a new post credit scene of him like, like getting down and 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 worshiping a Mickey Mouse statue. Yes, just like I, they've got to be you a fucking need, you joke about the statue. Though, Brown it's just like a silhouette Pikachu or something. Yes, yeah, I would love I, that too. Oh my god! Uh, you know, That's I mean, what... and it's Ryan Reynolds. He loves this fucking. He he loves being Deadpool. He loves yeah. playing Wade I Wilson. Mean, it saved his career. Yeah. Well, I right. hope it happens, man. There's so much fun. They'll make that money back though. Oh, like, they're, absolutely. They're not Guaranteed. just getting these comic book properties. They're getting aliens and and all this other. Oh yeah, they're getting a lot properties. of properties that like make me happy. They're going to be in the hands of someone who I think could look well, at Alien Covenant you know, and go, yeah. "Yeah, no, we're not doing this." Let's this do is, a good this movie. is terrible. What is wrong with you? Yeah. I don't care if you're Ridley Scott. This is a bad idea in yep. your movie. Your I can't movie's not going to be good. That I would like. It, I'm, it, I'm it, now saying I would have much rather had the Bloomkamp movie. Than oh yeah, Ridley Scott. Neil Blomkamp. I Blomkamp, cannot fucking believe that because I don't like Bloomkamp movies. I didn't like Chappie, but I, I love <sighs> Dish. I loved District Nine. Yeah, I didn't love I that Matt Elise. Damon movie either. Elise but I love. So but they're they're I, so I, well they're they're extremely well done. Yeah, and they're I well written and, the, and all the this visual shit effects that, are amazing. And but uh, yeah, I definitely I definitely it would have agree. Been way better. I definitely agree. I like District Nine. District Nine was that was a good flick. I thought so. I never saw Chappie though. But still waiting on that District Ten. Is there <laughs> supposed to be a sequel? Well, there's been, they, he's talked about it, about of it course. Stuff, like yeah. they're oh. supposed to come back. They're gonna come back, and he's. I heard like his his potential sequel for it. They're gonna come back 
and it's gonna like boom blow the universe out, and it's gonna be like it'll Star be a whole lot Star war. Wars level fucking yeah. universe. He honestly, Bloom Camp, like if you, uh, I don't know if you watched a little any ambitious. Of his, if you <laughs> watched any of his, his uh, if you've watched his studio, there's short films they did that they released for free on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Uh, those are amazing. Yeah, like holy shit, this guy has the ideas that he has are on the same level of like. Ridley Scott with Aliens and with the original Star Wars. And, like, he legit, I think, could have done that. But he also was way too fixated on forcing in, like, moral values he's and, like, a, political messages. He's all messages. about, like, po- like political messages. Yeah. And, Which is and what's perfect for him to do Aliens and, Which like, Which is admirable. Like, I, I think I don't necessarily so much respect his his ability in terms of, like, how good a filmmaker he is. He has a really great visual style and he's mm-hmm. got really good ideas. That's what he has going for him, and you, you pair that with Alien, yeah, right. right. It would have been a really perfect great for thing. Alien. Yeah, his his idea of like anti uh, super corporations and stuff is perfect for an Alien, uh, Whaling Yutani pulling evil shit in space movie. Right, yeah. right. Which is what the one he's of the already flirt, of flirting with that H.R. Giger style and all his yeah his stuff like so. Uh, well, it's one of the bad. short films is like this crazy post Alien invasion where humanity's been almost wiped out to the brink of extinction and uh they're just barely surviving almost uh like in um terminate like future the yeah. future earth and terminator style and it's like mind blowing like explosions and well there's explosions but um there's like humans have been experimented on so there's cyborg uh people and stuff like that and it's just it hmm. it was awesome yes you guys see that Quentin Tarantino is making an R-rated Star Trek Star movie. Trek, yes, yeah. it was like a rumor and a hint and things that I was like, this could be really interesting. And then now it's, yeah, Quentin Tarantino's doing from, R-rated Star Trek. Quentin Tarantino went from, I don't know I'm how retiring. many more movies I'm <laughs> going to be making to, this fucker's going to be pretty busy over like the next 10 years. Yeah. Well, he's let's make to a do million a space movies. Movie. He's let's make a to do Star sci-fi. Trek movie. Let's do this movie. I mean, let's do that I'm movie. fine with that. Fucking let's bring do it on, a fucking man. Manson movie. Like a Charles Manson movie, like that's not even the center point of the movie. It's just yeah. a Hollywood story. Manson, I, I guess, is going to be like kind of like Hitler and Inglorious Bastards. Kind yeah, of deal. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. it's going to be the side. It's not the main focus, but it's going to be there, which is interesting as fuck because his take on history is awesome. I gotta say though, like like I I've I've I've, I've strongly disliked the new Star Trek movies because I, I, I like the, the first one was, one was okay. Well, like my my but, thing uh, is yeah. is like like. They take the focus on what Star Trek was, which was about exploration. They and, wanted to and star, they shit. Star Wars. Star it Wars. Up. Yeah, like like instead of making it, they basically took the original spirit of Star Trek, which like exploration, new stuff, you know, being open minded, and they just threw all of that fucking shit out the window and made an action flick with yeah. Star Trek label on it. Which I mean, I'm not gonna okay, that's cool, whatever. But I I never cared for him, so I. I I just haven't paid much attention to him. But I don't this one, care for the plot holes that J.J. I mean, Abrams Quentin Tarantino a style nice attempt. Star Trek, I, 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 I'm intrigued. Yeah, he can do least. whatever he wants. Yeah. He is He's somebody who my, would still have those elements filmmakers. of exploration. And right, yeah. Things like, and like, have those I, in there. I, I feel like if, if there's going to be a marriage of the two, mm-hmm. he would probably do it the best. Yeah. And I know that like it's Quentin Tarantino. Anything, Any weak points that he may have, he would – He I was I, – Respect him enough to know that the guy would bring in somebody, and he'd be able to get any anyone, yeah, anyone to be able to help him out. Now, here's the thing: I want to see how is he going to kill himself in this movie? Yeah, he's got to <laughs> he's got to be a character. He's got to be a complete sucked scumbag. out of an airlock. He's got to be. My, he's gotta my die. money goes he's, on sucked out. He's, he's got to be. He's got to be doing something really stupid in the movie, like yeah. like in Django and Chain. He was you know transported like dynamite. Yeah, he, and he was transporting a slave. Like yeah. he's a Borg. A sh- yeah, yeah. He I, gets yeah. turned into a Borg and gets <laughs> his head blown off or something like that. Yeah, like like he. he I I see him getting blown out of an airlock and yeah. then shot with like a photon torpedo somehow. <laughs> like, <laughs> with like, a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> ah! Oh boy! <laughs> All right. Good. Is there anything else we want to talk about before we wind down and and uh, know, um, everybody goes home and sleeps? Yeah, I, I welcome know, our mouse overlords. Yeah, 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 this is such good news. Oh man, yeah. this is something I've like I've I've daydreamed about forever. Like, oh man, yeah. wouldn't it be awesome if the Silver Surfer and Galactus and the X Men yeah. and 
in the Fantastic Four would all be could all be in these movies also and done so well. Up until Gala- <laughs> up until uh, the last X Men movie, I honestly was like, well, maybe it's not a bad thing they're separate. And then the last X Men movie happened, and I'm like, okay, you don't have any more shots. Logan was great, and Deadpool were great. Everything else has been okay to garbage. Like, like they you don't Logan get it and anymore. Going for, and it couldn't be better timing either. Like with the the, mm-hmm. the MCU as it is right now, winding oh, down to yeah. uh, the a finish, change is the changing for, of the guard. The yeah. the next slate, and the the next phase, or whatever. Right. The Fantastic Four could be a huge part of that, and the X Men yeah. could be a huge part of that. Yeah, move, yeah. Move right on to that. Take all, take the focus wait. off the Avengers and Thor and them. Iron Man and these guys. They they had, ready to retire. they had their time. They Homecoming had all two. these movies. Homecoming two is perfect to include the Fantastic Four in. Yeah, yeah. I can, I want to see the Fantastic it Four and Spider Man perfectly like Fantastic so Four, Spider Man, and and X Men like the, these yeah. fucking New York man. They're, They're all there. Yep. Maybe we could see Luke Cage and Jessica. Like I would play. I played Luke Lego Cage Marvel. Like Jones. one of my one of my favorite games just to fuck around is the right, right. Le- uh, the Lego Marvel Heroes game. Like I'd fly around as the Silver Surfer, fly right over per the the X Museum, the the X Mansion, <laughs> yeah. And uh, then I'd fly over the Avengers Tower, and it made me sad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they can't. Because in video never, games, I didn't think it ever would happen. In ever. video games, yeah, they can be fine, but in the movies, where they need, yeah, no, it's just not happening. But yeah. now, now it could. And Marvel, this might make them stop pulling that bullshit. Where in video games they're only including their movie universe characters. Yeah, like in the last fucking Marvel versus. I mean, Capcom. okay, but to be fair with that, that's just that's just marketing. And it's marketing, but you cut down the number of characters. Yeah, I so get you, them. I get you, but that's also marketing. Like, like what characters are out there right now that are front facing, well, public facing? Them. You know, I'm yeah. not saying don't include I, I, them. I, I, yeah, yeah, I know. Give me your other characters too. Your I, big company. But like I said, I think it, I put think on it's, your big boy pants. I mean, <laughs> please come on. <laughs> Stop fucking me in the. Oh, speaking of Marvel comics. They're releasing their next phase of um, uh, inclusive comic book characters. Okay, so, so um, it's kind of interesting they're doing that with the comics. We're gonna still. turn black. Because we're gonna we gonna like like go. There's cra- a female. We're gonna Captain go America crazy here and turn there. Black Panther into a blonde white guy <laughs> who's also gay. <laughs> or just go com- fucking insane. <laughs> oh, who's also no. gay? You know. Yeah, I mean they let's, can do let's that. Do yeah, let's, let's, he's a no. That's he's a transgendered. Inclusive. He's a trans. He's a, he's female to male. There you go. Female to male, blonde, white guy. <laughs> but he's called Black Panther. But, he's, but he's Black Panther. Don't yeah. even question it because Fuck it might happen. Fuck all that shit, man. It might happen. They I, have enough, I mean, fair, dude, I am 100% okay with this. I don't feel like it's been, I, don't, I haven't liked anything they've done with the them, though. the books haven't been written I well. haven't, like Marvel they haven't Comics. Sold. It's Marvel Comics that are the problem. Like, I just don't yeah. like their comics. And they've all just, it's just all come off as like a, a big stunt. It, yeah, it, it comes uh, off like a it, it, look at what we're doing. It, and I don't. It's res- a virtue signal. I yeah. don't respect yeah. it either. Like, okay, that's you, great. This is this is nice. It's nice for a little while. Right. We all know. We all know it's gonna. He's gonna come full circle. It's gonna go back. It's just just a, a money stunt. It, it's like it, you're being progressive. Just to say, why don't you just make a come up? What you, why don't you think for a minute? Yeah, and come, come up with a new good character. Like, don't be progressive for the sake of saying, "Hey, look, we're progressive." Don't virtue signal. Why just, just be just. If you, you know. had, if you had enough, if you had respect for this type of human being, right? That you're you're trying to make a character out of. Why don't you just write a new character? Yeah. And, and, Stop and, trying to shoehorn them into existing characters and come up with new things. Like I realize that that can be difficult, but come on, man! Like, like it feels the, like I said, it's virtue signaling. That's all. That's what it feels like to me. What, well, there's a wor- pandering. Fuck! What's the word I'm thinking of? Why don't you, uh, like, uh, make this character a permanent fixture instead of making this character just this is just a publicity stunt this is just a stunt right now well, like it's said, the way it feels it's, it's very stunty if if the characters end up working out well they get good writers on them and then good for you but the fact that it's like another captain america there's another um uh agent of shield soldier there's yeah like a i was new, joking like why don't you just write a character there's a that's another a another captain a marvel female to male female blonde character. white a white female to male transgender transgendered character. Why don't you fucking write that? Yeah. 
And don't have instead it be of making a character him turning there. turning that and making him Black Panther. <laughs> yeah, don't 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 do that. Stop doing that. Make him like a fucking the leopard or something. Yeah, a I new don't know. character. Uh, all right, we're gonna wind yeah. down from yeah, there. I won't. I mean? It's either like we need to turn Blade into one of the one of that <laughs> no, type of, that no, type sure of person. Or we Stop need... it, Ron. Stop <laughs> giving them ideas. Fuck you, Ron. It's only a matter of time with Marvel. Yeah, all well, right. as long as it stays Marvel in the comics, comics alone. Yeah, leave the movies alone. Yeah. Casting in movies are perfect right now. In, in Kevin Feige, we trust. Yeah, our Lord right. Saver, Kevin Feige. All right, guys, that's it for us. Uh, we're me. gonna we're gonna go ahead and wind down before we get too far off topic and have an hour and forty five minute pod again. We had a topic. God, I hate Marvel <laughs> comics. <laughs> <laughs> I like Marvel, but they don't make the comics easy Marvel to like. Marvel movies, I love. Fuck uh, Marvel comics. Yeah. DC puts them to shame. All right, guys. That that. All right. Don't get too angry, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta like me when I'm angry. Yeah, he cries. It's kind of sad. Uh, yeah, I'm always bit. angry, Cap. <laughs> <laughs> That's his secret. <laughs> All right, for the ungodly geeks, how's Joe? I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys, have a good day and fuck EA. Yep.